I'm back in the Nuggetorium today with a doozy of a project. It, it, it seems simple. I just want to get some drawers underneath my workbench. There's all this room under here, and if I could just have some pull-out drawers, it would be, just be so awesome. I've looked online, I've looked in stores, everything is like either way too cheap, way too expensive, and just not like a custom solution. I think me and my dad can build some drawers under there, and I think it's gonna push the limits of our woodworking abilities. Well, it'll push the limits of his woodworking abilities, and it will push the limits of me holding the camera, uh, making fun of him as he does it. So it seems like a good first step would be clearing all this crap out of the way. Someone mentioned in the comments that we still gotta make a paper towel holder. You're very right about that. And it should probably be those blue shop towels, not this uh, white kitchen stuff. Okay, now I'm gonna do a few rough measurements just to kind of get an idea of what we're working with here. I don't know how woodworkers properly draw stuff up, but 66 across, 30 deep, and then 17 high. I kind of made a, a little 3D version. One thing I'm seeing already is we'll probably have to shear these bolts off with uh, the sawzall just to clean this up. It's not like this thing has to go the whole width. I'm thinking we'll do one set and one set and just keep it real loose because we can always build the cabinet into this. That's the one luxury we have is that it, it's not an exact space. We don't have to be exact. Now I'm waiting for my dad to show up with a table saw and I have a feeling that he's already gone to Lowe's and bought all the stuff for the project even though we haven't really talked it out. Like I, I would prefer three quarter inch for the drawers and uh, that's his style. Just to go rogue, just to go get it all and just <laughs> be done with it. But if you don't actually know how much material you're gonna need, you, you can't really go rogue, can you? Eh, I don't know. Do a little mock-up here, not to scale. Okay, you didn't buy all the stuff, did you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I never had any pencils when we've been working on all these projects to actually mock stuff up. And then I finally bought some at Target. This was like 44 cents for this pack. Then my dad's like, we've got a problem. It doesn't fit in the pencil sharpener. So we just bought a ton of these one by sixes from Lowe's, pine, cheapo stuff. And uh, it pretty much matches all the uh, stuff inside the Nuggetorium already. They call them one by sixes, but they're really like three quarters by five and a halfs. I'm very, very lucky my dad has bought these tools over the years from various projects because when you watch the videos online, I watched a bunch of drawer making videos, it's like, okay, yeah, you just need this and you need this. And then it, when it comes down to it, you're like, okay, I need the clamps, I need the glue, I need the miter saw, I need the table saw, it's, oh, Jesus. And after watching a bunch of little woodworking videos recently, I keep seeing this Craig Jig thing come up. It's basically a way to drill holes in wood and to make your joints very, very awesome, very, very tight, very, very strong without having to do like dovetail joints and doing all kinds of special wood joints. That sawdust catcher doesn't work for shit. <laughs> No. Is it powered or no? no? There's some in there to start going in, but it just basically. Yeah. So for the first test, and this is probably only going to be a test at first, we've got two, two foot by four foot quarter inch plywood, and that's basically going to be the bottom of the drawer. That's going to be everything that the weight is going to be on when you actually put the stuff in the drawer. So that's like the limiting factor. And we only want to go two foot deep because that's about as far as the drawer pools that we bought are going to be able to handle. So now we're going to put a little notch in the bottom, a, ri a rabbit, a dado, whatever the hell they call it, so we can insert that quarter inch plywood into the, into the drawer and you'll see, you'll see when we put it all together. So that's the visualization. So these two pieces are the sides. That's how deep, this is how deep the drawer is going to be and the front is super big. So that's how you can see and then we've got the other piece back there. There'll be a piece on the back too. So now it's all about joining them together. So this is the secret weapon that we're gonna use to join everything together. And we were just reading the instructions. We got, totally, well actually. We totally don't ever believe in reading instructions. It, it's this half inch or three quarter? Three this quarter. is three quarter, okay. So we set the collar, three quarter. This makes it all just magic. Just boom, boom, boom. It'll be so easy. Nice. 
nice. What's up with the dinky little uh, <laughs> tape measure? Another one's too fucking heavy. <laughs> This is another tool I didn't have that's gonna save our ass today. A big ass clamp. So we can actually work with drilling in these holes and not have it all fly everywhere. So they even have it mapped out for the actual length of the screws we should use regarding material thickness. So Craig, Craig is our training wheels today. You had the video, they have a guy like standing on the on the thing. It's invincible. Now the moment of truth. We've got the bottom piece. And a bunch of shit in the way. We got it with the mallet, which is that was actually good because this side was loose. It helped to actually work the other sides in. If all three of those sides were too tight like that, that would be a lot harder. But we'll see when we do the next one. There we have it. All sucked in together. So this is kind of what it's gonna look like when it's in there. It'll be floating to be able to pull out. And like I said before, we have the luxury of building the cabinet, you know, like building the sides of this however we want. So it's very, very much not what you'd normally run into, like in your kitchen or whatever. It's gonna be all friggin' very particular. So we've had the wiggle room. So now we're getting this piece in place because this is what the actual drawer pulls or the whatever drawer slides are going to be on. Mount it on there and then <laughs> figure out how to mount it on the inside. It's pretty easy on the inside. And it said it can hold 100 pounds, so only the best. Got the drawer slides on now. Now this is like the, <laughs> the tough part to actually made it up with that, make it look good. We got it off the, off the bottom a little bit with the spacer. How many times have you hit your head on the workbench? Once. <laughs> so we've got a solid rough estimate of the first drawer and uh, now it's lunchtime. Time for some nuggets. Here's my little trick with Chick-fil-A. I used to always get a 12 pack of nuggets. Now I just get two eight packs of nuggets. 16 Chick-fil-A nuggets is the perfect amount of nuggetude. So we're back to work now and the first drawer is in and it's looking really good. Comes out super far. It can hold 100 pounds. Now we just need to do three more. So we ended up getting three out of the four done. Long ass day, a lot of work. The, the journey will continue. It's the next day now and this morning it was like 40 degrees, but it's already ramping up. It's gonna be like a hot day today. So we've got one more drawer to finish before the heat starts beating down on us. Looking real good with all four drawers installed. Now I think we're gonna use these little plug thingies, glue them in, and then shave them down to make it a little more finished of a look. We just put in a bunch of these hooks to hang up all the Ryobi tools. It's nice and easy. There's certain things that'll be too tall for the drawer, so we're gonna build a little shelf out here. Perfect hideaway spot for stuff that's too tall. And there we go, a nice little hidden spot for the tall stuff. It's been a few hours now. Whatever glue I have in here hopefully has set up and I'm gonna try to sand these down and see what they look like. All right, I think I've got these going. I just need to spend a little more time making them nice, making them flush and just another great couple of days working in the Nuggetorium with my dad. I always cherish the time we have together. It's been awesome to be able to work with him and, and get it all going. So until next time, Thanks for watching, you guys. I'll see you on the trail.